I'm gonna be honest with you guys I was nervous to start Beachbody because for one I didn't agree with a lot of things that you know the coaches did I didn't agree with the MLM stuff and things like that but I decided that doing it for me was gonna be better than not doing it for someone else friends welcome back to my channel my name is Maylene Call from Mrs. Calls Campers this video is a little bit out of my comfort zone it's not something that I would typically do but I wanted to come on here and give you my honest thoughts honest opinions you guys know why you clicked on the video it's a video focused on Beachbody I am going to be another video that's more focused on me and my personal journey so I'm gonna upload these at the same time so whenever you're done with this video the next video will be in the i button and I'm also going to link it for you in the description box so a little bit of background on my Myself, I am 25 years old I've never had a gym membership I have always wanted to be the type of person who likes working out but I was never that person until my sister introduced me to something called bar um, so I went to bar for a little while and then my husband joined the Air Force and we moved to Mississippi and all we had there was an apartment gym so I did that for a little while I didn't know what I was doing but I felt good because I was doing something at least and then we moved to California and since this is our home this is where we're gonna be staying for quite a while I knew I either wanted to do a gym membership or classes or something and so I actually went on Instagram which is like my go-to for everything and I asked people what they did what they liked and then I also said that I was considering Beachbody which brings us to this video so I'm gonna be talking about Beachbody and I know there are so many conflicting opinions on this I hope that you can keep the comments really really respectful I'm gonna give you my full honest thoughts opinion I have some thoughts <laughs> I have some opinions um, but I'm basically gonna tell you what it is why I never joined before why I finally decided to join and my first impressions of it I started using it um, it was like mid to late October and it's currently February I've done 80 day obsession um, and then a couple of other programs so first thing we're going to talk about is Beachbody and then the second part of the video is going to be me talking about 80 day obsession how to get you ready for that timestamps are going to be in the description box and in the comment section down below so check there and then also I'm going to be doing a little Q&A at the end. I asked you guys if you had any specific questions about Beachbody and I'm going to be answering those too. So let's see if we can get through this video. Alright, first things first, I feel like most people have an idea of what Beachbody is. It's an online database of workout programs. That's what it is. That's the bread and butter. That's what they do. Um, I'm going to show you guys how much I paid right here. These are their different like plans and memberships. I paid $99 for the entire year. Um, I noticed some that might be nothing. I noticed some that might be a lot depending on how much you pay for a gym membership, etc, etc. But for me, I feel like $99 was absolutely worth it. I also feel like I should mention if you have someone who is a coach who has been messaging you, which please stop cold messaging people because we all hate it. If you have a coach or someone Somebody that's been messaging you and saying hey join my team do this boot camp pay you know like 200 plus dollars for it I would say that's kind of a ripoff and that's just my honest opinion because you can get everything in the app for $99 you can use it on your laptop you can use it on your iPad you can use it on your phone um, and it's $99 for the entire year when you pay that extra price for a coach you're paying for a couple of other things that to me are not really worth it so I did not want to be involved with any of the like beach body coaching any of that stuff none of like the MLM stuff I just wanted to do something that was good for me um, and even though it has a bad rep I'm, I'm glad I did it to be honest with you guys so yes Beachbody is an MLM and that was one thing that I was really nervous about in the beginning because I didn't want to be associated with any of that I just wanted to do something that was good for me so why didn't I join sooner? I've known about this for forever. We all get messages on our Instagram. Hey girl, why don't you join my team? Hey girl, I saw you watching my stories. I hate that part of Beachbody. And to be honest, I think the bad reputation from Beachbody doesn't come from Beachbody itself. It comes from the way that it's being promoted by other people. And not every coach is like that. My coach is my friend, um, Chelsea, over at Teaching in Pearls. I know her as a person, I trust her. Honestly, I didn't join because I hate the way that coaches try to acquire you. In fact, I hate that they are even called coaches at all. And I really hope I'm not offending anybody because I totally support you doing whatever you have to do. Make your money girl but I don't like the way most coaches go about acquiring their team um, and I don't agree with the fact that they're called coaches and I know that sounds so bad but you don't have to know anything about fitness or nutrition um, so really I feel like they should just be called ambassadors I feel like it's a little bit deceiving but 
I, I just don't like the cold messaging. I don't like the fake friendliness and not every coach does this, but a majority of them do and they give a really, really bad reputation. So I didn't like that. And then I also didn't like how it's not just beach body, it's beach body and then your Shakeology. It all starts with Shakeology. This is such an amazing And then your recover. Make sure you're drinking your beach body performance recover. And then you're this and then you're that. And it's just like one big money pit and you feel pressured into buying so many things that you may or may not need or may or may not want. So that's why I didn't join beach body. But I obviously bought Beachbody because we're sitting here having this conversation. So I was actually debating between a gym if I wanted to do something at home or if I wanted to do like free workouts. There's a ton of free workouts on YouTube. There's a ton of free content. And to be honest, I decided that being able to work out at home was going to be a huge factor for me. I wanted to be able to get my workout in even on days that I didn't feel like it. And having that extra drive to the gym wasn't something I feel I felt like doing. So... <laughs> On the other hand, that can also be kind of a double-edged sword because if it's at home, it's a lot easier to say no. Again, it is $99 if you buy like the year membership, they can break it up for you. But I felt like that was enough for me to actually want to use it. Because if I pay $5 for something, I'm like, oh, well, it's just $5. But if it's $99, like that's a significant chunk of money. So it, it was enough for me to actually want to use this thing that I invested in. And not only that, but I invested in some equipment as well. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But the biggest reason that I decided to go with Beachbody was because I wanted an actual program. I did not want random workouts. I feel like most of us at one point or another have tried like a random YouTube workout and yes, they're good workouts, but I wanted something that was specifically designed by professionals. I wanted something that, you know, I could come back to every day, something that was going to push me um, and something that was going to make me feel successful. I wanted to do a program. So if that's something you're interested in, Beachbody has a ton of programs. Now let's talk about my first impressions with it. I was really surprised when I downloaded the app um, because I'd never seen inside the app before, so I'm actually going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. So we're in the home tab right now. On the bottom, it has like a feed of like Instagram posts, things to encourage you to drink Shakeology mostly. Then if we go over to programs, you can see that they have featured programs. Um, they have an entire library of programs, and then you can search by trainer. So let's just go over to the member library, and I'm going to scroll through and let you see all the different programs. So you're probably familiar with like Insanity and P90X, um, but they have a lot of newer programs that are more modern. So when I finally got access and got in the app, I was really excited to see that they had a bunch of different types of workouts, workouts that, you know, some that I had never even heard before, but it's good because if you're in the mood for something, you can just do that workout. Um, and then I was also impressed because it's really high quality like it's full production so um you definitely feel like you're getting your money's worth so they have the workouts um and a lot of them are in real time so they're there doing it with you um and it's funny because you know you'll struggle with them they'll struggle with you they'll joke around with the cast and i really like that but if you click on a random program so i just clicked on 21 day fix um it shows you all of their workouts if you just do a little scrolly scroll, it tells you if you click on it what you need. Um, so some of them you need equipment for, some of them you don't need equipment for, but it'll tell you ahead of time. Um, and then if you go into materials, this is what I was really impressed with. Because when I said I wanted a program, I didn't even expect to get all this, but you do. So um, they give you a workout calendar for, I think, all of their programs. And it kind of breaks down how many days a week you're supposed to work out and all of that. And then a lot of them have a nutrition or an eating plan and then just other helpful things for you. So I'm not gonna get too much into that because it's a little bit boring. So I was really just impressed that they had all that for you built in like a complete program. Um, they basically tried to make it as easy as possible for you. So when I joined, I messaged my friend Chelsea over on Instagram, she's teaching in Pearls, and I said, hey, do you have like a coach code or referral thing? Because I was gonna sign up for Beachbody and I figured Chelsea's my friend, I know her personally, I know she's a good person, and I wanted to help her if I could. So I asked her for her code, um, which if you still have a friend that you wanna support, I would suggest doing it that way. Um, I don't know, that's just what I did. <laughs> so I went ahead and put in her little code. So now whenever I log in, it says my coach is Chelsea. Um, and I like supporting my friends. So that's what I did. <laughs> so that's a little bit about Beachbody. I kind of wanted to show you the app um, so you would know what to expect and see if it was something that would be for you. But now we're gonna start talking about the very first program that I did and that was 
80 day obsession and I had seen so many girls doing this so that was kind of the reason why I chose it um it's because it was popular so I want to give you a good idea of what 80 day obsession is going to be like so you know if it's for you um and basically just walk you through me doing my first workout program because I did do it I didn't do it in 80 days but I did do it. <laughs> All right, 80 day obsession. I chose this workout because it was popular um, and the fact that it was 80 days because I am really not great at setting healthy habits for myself. So I figured if I picked something that was 80 days, I would be forced to stick with it every day and not just do like, you know, like the 21 day fix program, which is 21 days. So your coach for 80 day obsession is Autumn Cal Calbrice. I don't know how to say her name. And then you get five other amazing people going through that workout program with you. And that was something that I really enjoyed because I got to, you know, be in on like their inside jokes and things like that. I also wasn't sure about Autumn as a coach at first, and that's another thing. Um, you picking a program in Beachbody might just be which coach do you like the best, like which coach is gonna motivate you. And in the beginning, y'all, let me tell you, I thought Autumn was so freaking annoying with her motivation because I wasn't ready, like mentally I wasn't ready. I was feeling kind of bad about myself anyway, so I was like, this is stupid, stop being motivational, um, but now I now I kind of like her. <laughs> so the 80 day obsession that I did was the real time version. So they're there right there with you during the workouts with you in real time. And the workouts are 30 minutes to an hour, but honestly just prepare for an hour every single day. Most of the workouts are quite long. <laughs> Of course, with the 80 day obsession, you do get the starter guide, you get eating plans, um, and you get something else called weekly obsession, which is like bonus videos of just the cast talking about, you know, them going through the program. Um, so I would watch those if I was like stretching afterwards or something. As far as the workout schedule goes, it is six days a week. So it's an hour long, six days a week, and then you're supposed to like stretch and roll out your muscles on Sunday. Now something that I did not realize, and I feel so silly for not realizing this, when you click on a program in Beachbody, it will tell you if that program is for beginners or if it's intermediate to advanced. I did not realize when I started 80 Day Obsession that it was an intermediate to advanced workout program. Um, and they mean it, you guys. It is not easy. And no workout that you do is supposed to be easy, but I modified like every single move um, for the, at least the entire first phase of the workouts which we'll talk about but even towards the end there were things that I was modifying all the time so if you do this don't feel bad about modifying because I did too you're still going to feel good about yourself you're still going to get a good workout in um, and sometimes to be honest I completely switched the moves I was like I can't do that right now I'm going to do this instead um, but they they keep you motivated during it and they don't make you feel bad about having to modify and it's really cool to see the modifier grow in the workouts too now let's talk about the equipment so ADD obsession does require some workout gear so you need weights you need slides and you need wait hold on you need weights you need slides and you need some workout bands <laughs> we're just gonna bring this all over here weights wise I was so unsure about what weights I was gonna be needing um, again I am not someone who really like worked out before this so I knew I was weak but I have an entire Amazon affiliate link down there in the description box for you guys of all of my equipment back here i am going to talk about one set in particular it is a three five and eight pound weight set so it's these these and then these orange ones and the three five eight weight set is like 30 something dollars on amazon i think um and that is what i used for like 90% of these workouts. It was more towards the end when we were doing, um, working like really big muscle groups or like glutes and things like that, where I started to use my tens. And then a couple times for squats, I used my 20 pound kettlebell. But if you're starting this program, I highly, highly recommend you get the three, five, eight pound set. Maybe a 10 is something you could get after you already started the workout program um, and you're like in it. So that way, <laughs> um, you don't get so overwhelmed with price at first. Another thing they require, unfortunately, is workout slides. Um, these are also linked in my description box in my Amazon affiliate link. Uh, I do not like these things. I don't have very strong abs and so using these, you it burns so freaking bad. They do, um, there's curtsy lunges that you have to do with these things. They're just, they're rough, <laughs> but they, they give you a good workout. So like, yeah, I get it. But And then we have 
workout bands. Um, and by the way, Beachbody, of course, is going to try to sell you on like all of their equipment. I didn't buy any of it. So um, these are the workout bands that I have. There's like a light, a medium, a heavy. There's an extra light. There's an extra heavy. And this was absolutely perfect. And the other thing about workout bands, you use them almost every single day, which means most days you cannot wear shorts doing this workout. Maybe you're not like me and don't care, but I had to buy some good workout leggings um, because you can't wear shorts when you do these workouts because your legs get all sweaty and then the band slips off your leg and you're adjusting the band the whole time so workout leggings are probably a must for this program oh also um, shoes you have to wear shoes when you do these workouts it's not the kind of workout that you can do barefoot like bar um, so yeah I just thought I would say that you're gonna be in your home wearing leggings wearing shoes you know six days out of the week for an hour so yeah so the thing about the Beachbody workouts, um, I think all of them, I'm not sure, but they're separated into phases. So for 80 day obsession, you have phase one, phase two, phase three, and then peak week. Um, and you're going to be pushed during every single one of these phases. So as far as what you're doing every single day, you have a total body core day, you have a booty day, you have a cardio core day, um, you have AAA, which is arms, abs, and butt, and then you have a leg day, and then a day called cardio flow. Oh, I hated cardio flow. <laughs> um, those are your six basic workouts that you do. So you do a different one every single day. And the moves are going to repeat some throughout the program. You're changing basically the order you do them and you're changing the reps. And that was one thing is phase one. It's kind of like learning the program. You're learning the moves. You're getting used to it. Um, and it's definitely an adjustment. So let's talk about phase one. So phase one is days one through 26. So it's a total of 27 days. And I started from level zero. <laughs> I had no, like nothing built up for this, okay? Um, and it felt like phase one took forever. Out of all the phases, days one through 26 was like the longest. Ever. From then on, it speeds up. You're used to it. You're feeling good. You're feeling great. Phase one, though, it took forever. During phase one, I honestly, I used mostly threes and fives for most of the moves. And I'm not even ashamed to say that. And then towards the end of phase one, I was doing more eight pound weights. And yeah, my bands, I was using light, like maybe a medium for some moves. So yeah, I... Mm -hmm. hard <laughs> what else do I have written down um it really challenged my stamina even though they are simple moves so you're not going to be having to do there's like maybe two moves in here that are complex compound movements but for most people it's going to be something really really simple and oh I want to talk about something else another thing that they do not say you need but that I seriously suggest you get is a mirror so I'm going to show you um this is my mirror setup but those mirrors were like six dollars from Walmart um so I got three of them and this workout room is not something I had in the beginning of 80 day obsession um I literally just had the weights the bands the sliders like I didn't have anything um but you need to get a mirror because you need to see what your body is doing you need to be able to check your form the great thing about Beachbody is these coaches know what they're doing they know how to cue you but you really really need to be able to see yourself um to make those adjustments I also realized in phase one I loved having a coach that was going to be there every day to push me that was something that was really really helpful um, and then I do have noted also I was super super sore in phase one um, even though I was stretching and foam rolling I have a foam roller back there too but it like it challenges your body I was not prepared to be that sore every day um, but then in phase two I started taking BCAAs and man did that change my life I have a one of nutrition link in my description box below um, so check that out too but BCAAs help a ton. <laughs> and then the last thing I noted for phase one was that I was so hungry, you guys. Within the second week, I just noticed my body, I don't know if it was like my metabolism like gearing up, but I was just starving all the time. I felt like I couldn't like fill up with enough food. Um, and I did, I was burning. I did all my workouts on my Apple Watch so I could see like how many calories and things like that that I was burning. And you know, for most of these workouts I was burning between like 450, 600 calories. So yeah, I was, I was starving in the beginning but that went away <laughs> more towards like the middle. So, so phase two is days 27 through 50. So that's 24 days. So it's a little bit shorter than phase one. And I was ready walking into phase two but it felt like I started everything over. So they changed it in phase two from doing simple moves to compound moves which is like more steps to the move 
look, I'm not, I'm not a fitness person, okay? Um, but you're lifting heavier, you're going faster through the moves, and it does, it feels like you're starting all over again. So as strong as you felt at the end of phase one, you go like psh, all the way back down. And here's the thing about me. When I started this, I was like, okay, I'm going to work out like every single day, but I didn't have my diet reeled in. And I also was not following the nutrition portion of any obsession program, which you can do if you want to do. I just didn't feel like doing it. I just wanted to, you know, do it on my own. And I kind of messed up in the beginning because I was still eating a lot of really bad food for me. Um, so even though I wasn't seeing the results in the beginning of any dip session, I could feel it in my body that I was getting stronger. But of course, not a whole lot was changing, you know, when you're still, you know, drinking a ton of Starbucks and doing things like that. So yeah, I, if I could go back and change it, I would make sure my nutrition was dialed in from day one. But I thought, you know, I'm going to be working out for an hour every day. Nope, doesn't balance out. <laughs> and that sounds really obvious, I know, but I'm the kind of person who's like, oh, I do a little bit of work. I should get a reward. Don't be like me. Just just stick to it and you're, you're going to see way better results. Halfway through phase two is when I started actually working on my nutrition. And this was like such a game changer for me because as soon as I did that I started seeing results and I was like I wish I could go back. <laughs> Phase two was also when something in me just like like totally clicked because working out every day was helping me build those really strong habits and you know even in the moment it's tough it's hard you get it done. I was more and more motivated. Um, I was eating healthier and just because I wanted to eat healthier. I you know got a workout room put together because I wanted to and I just felt like I was going all in and then once I started eating healthier I was craving junk food less and less. I don't crave junk food that much anymore. Um, there are of course things that I know are delicious and I'll eat them still sometimes but my cravings went down and that was a huge thing for me that I was not expecting so eat healthy from the beginning please. <laughs> Alright so phase three is days 51 through 74 24 days long this was the quickest phase I feel like it just flew by and at this point you just feel strong you're doing more complicated moves you're excited to lift heavier weights it's great and then you get to peak week and peak week is six days and she goes back um autumn does the coach and picks like the hardest workouts or the her favorite workouts from the entire program and I was actually in Disney during this time um but I still did I still did the workouts I still did peak week at Disney but I was eating junk because it's Disneyland and I was on vacation, okay? Um, but peak week I didn't think was all that bad. So I was expecting something way harder, but I didn't think peak week was that hard at all. The one thing I really, really wanna say is that I am so glad I started with 80 day obsession because I love it. I really did enjoy 80 day obsession and it makes you feel so successful. And when you're someone who's not used to working out or who doesn't feel like they're successful because they can't do a sit up, it's it's really really nice and yeah I, I highly recommend it even if you are a beginner um, because those 80 days are gonna get you on track they're gonna get you in focus and they might help you fall in love with becoming a better version of yourself um, so yeah <laughs> so that's 80 day obsession just to recap um, if you want to do it, it's $99 for the Beachbody app and then you have to pay for some equipment for 80 day obsession unless you have a gym membership but I feel like most people watching this probably don't or are trying to get away from that um, so yeah I really recommend the three five eight pound weights to get you started ten weight ten pound weights towards um, the end or the middle of the workout you definitely need bands I almost did these workouts without bands I was gonna try to save a little bit of money you know <laughs> and it's you it is not the same these change the entire workout you need them and then sliders y'all it sucks but just do it and then mirrors you really need some kind of mirror something to check your form now I'm going to go through some of the questions that you guys asked on Instagram about Beachbody and 80 day obsession so um, is it for beginners it's not for beginners but you can absolutely modify it to be for beginners is Beachbody worth the money yeah, I would say 100% it is worth the money um, and I feel like it is a really, really good price. And if you go through a coach, I'm sorry that you had to pay a little bit extra, but hopefully you watch this video before you do that. Um, how feasible are the workouts for beginners? Look, in the beginning, you're going to struggle, you're going to feel awful, you're going to feel bad that you can't do things, but the fact that you struggle so much in the beginning and then by phase two, you're doing these workouts and you're lifting heavier than you were in phase one, you're going to feel so good about it. So I say it's it's uncomfortable at first. It really is, but it it's worth it if you stick with it. And again, I'm not a beach body coach. I just am really proud of the fact that I've started to make my life better by working out. So that's why I'm doing this video for you guys. Did you participate in any of the accountability or challenge groups? 
Uh, no, I didn't. Like I said, I really was just here for the workouts and I didn't want to be a part of any of that. My friend Chelsea did add me to her Facebook group. I said, sure, add me to your Facebook group because I wanted info on like a different beach body program, uh, but I've never posted in it. So no, I don't do any of that. Does the membership give you access to everything? Yeah, you get access to everything. And I didn't know that before. I didn't realize like how much of a variety they have, but they really do. And you also, oh, I forgot to mention, you also have a trial. So when you, if you decide to go ahead and get Beachbody and you do it through the app or online or whatever and you pay that membership fee, go through the workouts, look at all of the workouts. And if none of them look like things that you wanna do, you know, play a couple of them, try a couple different workouts out um, just to see what it's like. And then that way you know if you're gonna get your money's worth. And if not, you can get a full refund, I think. Whenever people ask me that question on Instagram, I always say, go through and look at all of the workouts. Cause if you think you're only gonna do like one workout program, you better like really like that workout program because you're gonna be doing the same one over and over if you don't like the other ones. Um, for me, I think it has enough variety. Um, plus it pushes you to like try new things. Do you drink Shakeology or Energize? So Shakeology is like their, their version, I guess, of like a protein shake. They say it has like all these superfoods or whatever in it. And Energize is their pre-workout. I use One Up Nutrition for pre-workout BCAAs and my protein shakes. Again, that link is in the description box for you if you want to support me. Yeah, I don't use Beach Bodies. It's more expensive. Um, and to be honest, the like ingredients wise, I just, I like One Up Nutrition better. So that's my personal opinion. You do what you want. I think Shakeology is like, hundred dollars a month or something I don't know it's not for me <laughs> why did you decide to go with Beachbody rather than a different program such as bar three again because I knew they had a lot of really successful workout programs um, Beachbody is coming out with a bar program so I'll be able to have that too <laughs> um have you noticed any physical results oh did I skip that part <laughs> Yeah, I did. And not at the beginning because I wasn't, you know, focused on my nutrition because I thought I could just work out, like outdo my diet. N nope. Because I wasn't focused on my nutrition. I wasn't working hard in the kitchen. I was working hard for an hour and a day. I thought that was going to do it. It's not going to do it. Once I started <laughs> fixing my nutrition, okay, I'll just say I started at 179 pounds in October, like mid-October when I did this. And by the end of it, I was under 170 pounds. I think it was like 169.8 pounds. Um, but I've been doing other programs, so I'm a little bit lower now than that. But it's not going to happen unless you focus on your nutrition. Um, and it's not going to happen unless you show up every day and do it. So I learned the hard way, but I'm really proud that, you know, even 10 pounds, which is like nothing, especially if you have a lot of weight to lose, 10 pounds is nothing, but it's a start. And I've never actually like lost weight before. So that made me feel good. Um, and as far as physical results, I feel like my stomach is a little bit flatter. I'm not gonna show pictures on here just because I'm a teacher and I feel like teachers get judged and the society is just way harder on teachers than other people in general. So I'm not gonna be showing off my physique on here. If you want to catch me over on Instagram, I probably have more things over there. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna be <laughs> doing any of that. So least favorite part of 80 day workouts. I tried it and the loops were so hard for me. Okay, cardio flow was my least favorite part out of all of the freaking workouts. Cardio flow is something that you do every single week and it's the same exact moves, but you, you do them more times. So she starts you off with like doing inchworms, then you move into the next move, and then you move into the next move. And you basically are running through like a series of moves over and over and over again. And I'm telling y'all, cardio day was my least favorite day. I was worn out and it wasn't fun. I much prefer to do things that have like weights involved with them, but cardio flow is just all body weight. Why would you support them? Like I mentioned in the beginning, this is something I did 100% for me. And if you don't agree with it, that's okay and that's your opinion. Um, I know I'm completely happy with what I'm doing and I'm not a coach, I'm not anything like that. And even if you are a coach, if you're doing it the right way, you know what, do, do you? Do you think the price is worth it for someone who is only in it for the workouts and not the rest of the things coaching Beachbody offers? 100% that's exactly what I do. What was the hardest part about 80 day obsession? Um, honestly in the beginning it was just telling myself that I had to work out was the hardest part for me but as soon as you you know put on your workout clothes and put on your shoes you're in it you're going and when it's over you feel really freaking good so the hardest part for me was honestly just getting started what types of exercises does this consist of like i said in the beginning it's really really simple moves 
um there's a lot of like lunges in the beginning there's like a lot of push-ups which i know sounds intimidating but like now i can do a push-up you know <laughs> um there's a lot of there's a lot of new moves i had never heard about um you it, i wouldn't be worried about what the moves are because no matter what um even if it's a move you're familiar with they're gonna find a way to challenge you is it better than actually going to the gym compare yeah so when i was going to the gym um i looked up like pinterest like workout things to do or i'd watch a video beforehand and try to remember like what to do what they did in that youtube video and i would try to do it in the gym it's it's completely completely different um because you have everything you need right in your home and you do it with them they cue you they tell you how to move they tell you um how to correct your form things like that and it's just it's more comfortable to be honest you don't have to drive to the gym and I'm not saying I'm never gonna get a gym membership because I definitely see myself getting a gym membership in the future um, but this is a really really good place to get started and to kind of learn what working out is like it, t it really does teach you how to work out is there pressure to do things in the program you are not interested in yeah basically Every single workout, they're pushing beach body, beach body, beach body. Drink your Shakeology, drink your Recover. I just had my energized popsicle or whatever that they do. I, I it's, it's a big money pit. And to be honest, you know, it's their business. That's what they're doing. That's how they make money. I don't expect anything less. But yeah, there's a lot of pressure. You don't need to give into it though. You can support me. <laughs> how did you deal with slow weight loss? Yeah. I, there have been plenty of times in my life where I've tried to do something and I just completely gave up. Um, I was really, when I started this in October, something inside of me was just really, really ready to do something and to stick with this forever. Um, so the fact that I wasn't losing weight in the beginning wasn't the worst thing to me because I knew I was still showing up for myself every day and I was still working hard every day. Um, and now that I am seeing results, it just, it just gets better. So for me, I think it's just one big mind game it's all about how you think about it it wasn't something that i was going to do for 80 days and then quit it was something that i wanted to help get me started on something that i was going to be doing for forever and if that's not something that you can honestly say to yourself like all right i'm gonna be the person who works out now then it's not it's not going to be something that's easy but you can still do it are you going to continue to work out every day almost every day yes um i've actually started a couple of other programs which i'm going to talk about now so when I was done with 80 day obsession, I went ahead and did 21 day fix. Okay, I didn't do 21 day fix, I did it for like a week and decided it wasn't for me. There is a big difference between 80 day obsession and 21 day fix. For 80 day obsession, you are doing a move for a certain amount of reps. So usually 10 to 15 reps of one move. And then for 21 day fix, you're doing one move for a minute. And I just really did not like that. <laughs> I don't, I don't really know what it was about 21 Day Fix exactly that made me not like it so much. I didn't like that we were doing one move for an entire minute. I got kind of bored during that. And then also, it did feel more of like a beginner workout. Um, and I'm not saying I'll never go back and do it. I might. But I just wanted to try something else because I had been doing any obsession, doing a lot of weighted moves. And I decided I was going to do Lift 4. So I'm in week 2 of Lift 4. I like it so much better than 21 Day Fix. Um... If I had done 21 Day Fix before 80 Day Obsession, I think I would have liked it more. But since I started with 80 Day Obsession, I was like, no, nah, I'm going to move on. So lift is different. You're supposed to only work out four days a week. And there's like a chest day, a shoulders day, back, and triceps, and then there's a leg day. Um, but I have been adding in a couple of like other like smaller workouts because I just like working out every day and I know my body needs to rest and I'm probably gonna eat my words, but I, I really do. So the Lift 4 program is by Joel and it's that's what it is. It's a lifting program. A lot of times though, you are on your back on the floor doing chest workouts and things like that. So that's something I can get down with. And then he breaks it up where you do like the second half, you'll be doing ab exercises and circuits and things like that. So you're still burning um, and you'll still have that fat loss from all over, but he's just helping you lift I guess <laughs> so on days where I'm supposed to be like resting I'll go for a walk or something like that um, or I'll add in like a booty day for my day session which I really really enjoyed um, and then the only other workout program that I've tried from Beachbody was country heat um, it was I think maybe like the day after I said I'm not gonna do 21 day fix anymore and I just wanted like a random workout to do so I did country heat and it's like it walks you through like country dances and it's 
things like that. It's a little bit um, different, but yeah, so I've given a couple of different programs a shot at this point. I am going to go ahead and do the full eight weeks of lift for complete that program. Um, and I'm not sure where I'm going to go from there. I know in July they have a bar program coming up that I'm excited to do, but I feel like overall having beach body has been a really, really helpful tool for me. It's something that taught me, you know, how to work out. It taught me discipline. And I'm not saying I have these things because of Beachbody, because if you're ready for it, you're going to get that if you go to a gym. But for me, I needed that extra help. I needed that extra motivation and I didn't want to get, um, a different app. <laughs> I wanted something that had like a lot of professionals who knew what they were doing, who were writing plans for me. So yeah, I definitely had my reservations about Beachbody in the beginning. It has a really bad reputation. There are a lot of coaches out there that, you know, even still to this day, I have Beachbody and I still get messages every day from strangers asking me to be part of their thing and then they'll be nice to me for a little while and then they'll be mean to me and or completely ignore me or unfollow me when I say, no, I'm good. I wish that side of the business didn't exist. I wish it was just you could sign up for these workouts, you could buy supplements if you wanted to, but they push it on you and I feel like that's a turn off for a lot of people, but um, if it's something that you really wanna do, you can do it in private, you don't even have to tell anybody you do it. Um, just do whatever is gonna make you the most motivated. I didn't agree with a lot of things that you know the coaches did, I didn't agree with the MLM stuff and things like that, but I decided that doing it for me was gonna be better than not doing it for someone else. And I will say I have gotten backlash. I have people who you know are rude to me about it and say, how could you support this business? But I'm supporting myself and having my friend Chelsea as my coach. She's wonderful. If you don't know her, she's teaching in pearls. She is a sweet, genuine, honest person. She's not gonna try to push you to do something you don't wanna do. So yeah, I mean, if you have a friend who is a coach and you wanna, you know, be part of their team, go for it. If not, don't. Um, don't try to sell me on your freaking Ronan and Field skinny tees, all that other stuff too, by the way. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Like it if you haven't already. I'm completely honest with you guys all the time from the get-go. I'm just sharing this because this is what I'm doing right now. This is my journey as it stands today and when that changes, you know, you'll hear about it. If you have any other questions that I didn't answer, leave them in the comments. Um, I also have that other video. You can click right up here to watch and it's a video that's more about me and my fitness journey and any personal questions, things like that. Um, we're going to get into like the nitty-gritty. I'm going to do a tour of my room back here too. Um, just share all sorts of personal things with you that are not related to Beachbody. Um, so I hope you give that video a watch too. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my thoughts and opinions. I think you need to do whatever's best for you, whatever that is. If you have questions, leave them below. I'd love to chat with you. Um, and if you're not following me on Instagram, head on over. We have a lot of fun. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching.